She recently completed her era's tour's European leg. But given that Taylor, 34, is supposedly writing a novel, it doesn't seem like she will be slowing down or taking a break anytime soon. The artist wrote the novel, A Girl Called Girl, when she was just a teenager. It tells the tale of a mother who preferred a son rather than a daughter. Although Taylor was just 14 years old when she wrote the narrative, it has never been published, and the original draft was thought to remain in her parents' possession. Although it's not the first time, the celebrity has subsequently registered the name and publishing rights to her first book. She first obtained the rights to the name in 2015, and it appears that fans may now be one step closer to owning the project after she put it on hold for over 10 years. The newspaper claims that the new trademark includes both audio and book products, indicating that Taylor is probably getting ready to publish her book. She had previously disclosed that she began writing the book prior to the peak of her musical career. It was during her 2012 tour that she clarified she had nothing to do because all of her buddies were back in Pennsylvania. I had nothing to do, she said to admirers at the time, adding, all my friends were back in Pennsylvania. I suddenly realized that I wanted to become an author and write novels. I'm going to follow that career route. Taylor's tour will resume in November. On November 14th she will make her first visit in Toronto, and on December 6th she will begin a run of performances in Vancouver. According to reports, she is working on a number of projects, one of which being a remastered edition of her 2017 album Reputation, which her fans are already quite excited about. But now that she's incorporating this book into the mix, Swifties everywhere may be even happier. Taylor and Travis Kelsey, 34, are making the most of their downtime with a much-needed love reunion, but just for a fortnight, according to sources, with her European tour behind her and the NFL season quickly coming. The power couple was spotted on the balcony of the singer's opulent Rhode Island estate as they got back together for a summer vacation. After serving as the location of Taylor's renowned, star-studded Independence Day parties, the $17 million vacation house rose to celebrity status. The musical sensation, however, was compelled to miss the celebrations this year due to her just-concluded 51-date European tour. This summer, Taylor made her first visit back to her well-known vacation home, accompanied by her significant other. And it appears that Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback for the Chiefs, as well as their friends and family attended. Numerous armed guards were seen outside the property's perimeter, and locals and fans quickly realized the pop sensation had returned. Fans clamoring for a close-up of the era's tour star were shooed away by Taylor's security, but not before they took a selfie in her driveway. In order to get a peek at the singer and her beau, one group even approached the guards and offered them $50.